it's your girl baby Ray back in a cut with a, another video um, cause my lips kinda ashy basically I know I haven't been on YouTube in a while I've been thinking about a lot of stuff my nails popping off and stressing stressing out with that I'm really doing good y'all though it's fine as y'all know it's finals week next week okay today is currently I'm gonna say Wednesday because it's already 12 o'clock in the morning. Y'all like, Ray, what are you doing at 12 o'clock in the morning? I was up and I could not go to sleep. So I was like, why not just might as well just make a YouTube video because I was thinking about a lot of stuff and I was like, I need to get back on it. Like all of this, I'm trying to focus on school and then focus on myself and then focus on this. And now I just have not been doing what I usually do for YouTube. Basically, I'm just gonna be doing another Girl Talk part two. I have not did a, did a girl talk in I don't know how long. Maybe like the last girl talk I did was probably like September, October, one of those months. I don't know, but I have not did, did a girl talk. So I want to do a girl talk part two. And it's going to mainly be about the topics you see. And before I get into this video, make sure you get to click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you just comment down below what you think. And give this video, hit that notification bell. Because it's going to get what? What is this? I'll just be doing my hair and then talking. I've not done my hair about this whole week. It's, it's on, from Monday to Tuesday. I just woke up, put a little water on it, and then go. As y'all can see, it looks horrible. And I don't even have my figure. The first topic is um, how to deal with cheating. Or the first topic is that's question. So for me, I used to brag that I ever really just get in relationships. So it was like, I can give you what I know, but I won't fully know everything because I'm still you know learning myself I barely be in relationships I'm barely I'm not even in a relationship so it's like you know it's kind of with me I'm the type of girl why I I'm the type of girl who like okay look you did this we need to forgive and move on you know just don't do it again because I wouldn't do nothing like that to you you know I'm not I Cheating is not for me, nor is it my style. It's not something that I prefer doing. Y'all, this is so bad. Okay, but it's like I'm big on loyalty, you know? And sometimes people step out of their zones to where they do something that they wouldn't usually do, you know? Because it just gets so, some things get really overwhelming and then they just make a bad mistake that they shouldn't have made, you know? And not saying that's for all people, because some people are just cold hearted with cheaters and they're gonna lie about it and they won't care. You know, they won't care, they won't tell you they're sorry, they won't love you. And it's gonna turn to where like you're gonna keep going back to that person after they've cheated so many times. That's not really like something that I would prefer you do, because that's gonna make your heart even worse. Because when they feel like that, they're gonna cheat and they can easily just get you back. Um, they're gonna continue to do it, and I, I have no doubt in my mind, depending on what per, per person it is, that they will continue to cheat. Once a cheater, always a cheater, like they say. And I, I didn't believe that at first. I, I say people change, but now, like, you know, it's been clear to me that people don't change, and maybe pe all people are different. So, but for me right now, sometimes people just don't change. Like me, I change. So I won't say I solemnly believe that because if I make a mistake, I fix it. I fix it with passion. I fix it with, you know, I really take pride in when I make a mistake, I'm going to try to do the best that I can not to make that mistake again. You know, I'm going to do the best that I can not to make that mistake again. With people who've been cheating, who've always cheated, who really don't, you know, care for that, it's not, don't people always end up saying, oh, it's probably for my fault. He, I'm probably not doing something right now. Because if you're not doing something right in a relationship, that person should be man enough or woman enough to come to you and say, hey, this is, I'm not feeling so good about this because this is the way you're treating me and I don't like it. So y'all can either work it out, agree to disagree, and move on. That's how a relationship is supposed to be. And some people are very, you know, weak. So saying in females or men, they get too overwhelmed and they decide to go do something and make a big mistake. That happens rarely in cases at all. So it's like, I really need me a mirror, y'all. In those cases, I'm not saying it's just completely wrong to forgive someone and get back with them. 
that's not that's not completely wrong you nobody knows your relationship how you know your relationship nobody knows that person better than you know that person in your relationship so you can't just let people tell you about your relationship you know what i mean so it's like you have to listen to your intuition it's a little voice in your head that i highly doubt that anybody listens to and mostly some people do listen to it and it's like you know it's not really a voice literally that's speaking to you not like the voice when you read the book or something it's like a voice your intuition like your thoughts you know and that that's telling you like if you're feeling some type of way about this person like you feel like they're gonna do it again they're gonna keep doing things they're gonna change go with that first thought you know because even if that first thought is wrong you could always change that and go back instead of going with the second star and getting your heart broken over again. That's not gonna like, that ain't gonna, it ain't gonna help you in no type of way. So, I know this one girl, she would do a cheating like she would let that person go for about a good couple months, you know, and let them get their act together. If they don't get their act together, then she done with them, she dumping them. If they get their act together, then she'll try, try to give them another chance and then after that, she done, you know, but she don't like to just give up on people that you, you know, so some people go through issues of their own, and you don't like to give up on them, like, you don't want to just leave the relationship and feel like, oh, I shouldn't just leave her because, you know, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's totally okay, it's whatever how you do with cheating, but if you know that person is going to continue to cheat on you, don't sit up there and try to, okay, well, maybe this, maybe no, you have to know, you're going to know what type of person you're in a relationship with. You're going to know, okay? And it's hard to really relieve your relationship. But, you know, go with your first intuition. Go with your first thought. And if that doesn't work out, hey, everything happens for a reason. Everybody goes through certain things for reasons. And at the end of the day, once you realize what you're worth, once you realize your, your, the reason why all of this happened, you will find peace and love. I'm telling you right now. This is, should I still be with friends with someone who dated someone I liked and she knew about it? In my opinion, no. And let me tell y'all why. I've done this before, and it was really, like, so rude and selfish of me to not think about it before I did it. I was, I was young, I was dumb, and I was stupid, okay? It wasn't like, oh, you like that person I'm going to date. It wasn't like that with me. But let me just get on to the topic. When you have a friend, a real true friend, that friend will not sit up there and listen to you talk about this guy that you like and she know you like this guy and try to go talk to him. That's somebody that's going to be fake, a fake person that's probably a little bit of jealous of you and really don't give a, don't give a care about your feelings. I'm going to just tell you that straight up. Like, they got them fake friends that act like they all buddy, buddy with you for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they want to be cloud or something. And, like, because you will never see somebody who's really not in the big crowd having fake friends, you know? Like, because they don't care about that. They know that, I, hey, I want some real friends. You know, I, I'm going to be me. Whoever's going to stick with me, don't stick with me. I know for a fact. The people who try to be all in the crowd normally has fake friends. And I've had fake friends because it's not the fact that I don't try to be in the crowd. It's just I was already in the crowd because it's something like my brother was very known and we looked just alike and then the people that I hang around with was very known and so it's like I don't feel like that's something that like if the girl I can see if the girl didn't know that you just really liked him but if you sit up there telling this girl yes I like this man and she gonna go up there and talk to him cut that off cut that off completely because that is so rude and disrespectful she should really she should really get beat up for that but I'm, I'm not gonna condone fighting don't do none of that you know you gonna mess out on your blessing by doing that. Just move on. If that guy take her, let them be happy. Karma is a beast, and I'm telling you, karma don't play. Okay, and she gonna get hers. So just let that go. Like that's not even nothing up for discussion. Like a true friend will try to get you with that person, try to make you make that person see you, notice you, and like you. Like you know what I'm saying? That it it won't be no up for discussion. Like that's not. It's called girl code. Like there's boundaries you can cross and boundaries you cannot cross. And I've crossed. I'm gonna tell you, I can, I've crossed some boundaries for real. Okay, I've did, and like, it was a mistake. I learned from it. I moved on from it. Okay. Like I won't say it was just boundaries that I knew. You no, know, it wasn't like that. But my situation was different because the guy was like they had broken. Well, they weren't really in a relationship. They were. 
But for me to be selfish, I was really young, probably like, six, I don't know what grade I was in, but for me to sit up there and talk to that guy like I liked him was not cool, okay? And I cut that off. I had to cut that off. See, it's 100. It didn't even, it didn't even get as far as a relationship. I had to cut that off because I was like, no, that's not going to work. That's not, that's not who I am. And everybody kept telling me that's not right or right. Like, you shouldn't have did that, you know? And I was like, yeah, you're right. Because at the end of the day, even though they broken up many months ago and they really didn't have a relationship like that and never really talked to each other, it's still a girl code that you're not supposed to break, you know? And at this point, I was young, dumb, stupid, wanted some attention. Like, don't do that, okay? That's not cool. And I, I deserve to get beat up for that. But no, nah, I'm going to say that because who won't touch me? No, nah, I'm like, I'm stop. But I feel like I deserve to be really punished for that. I'm pretty sure I got my karma for that because I had, I had a refuge this year. So that was really selfish of me to do. So don't do that. That person should be cut off immediately. So I'm not really mad about the girl if she cut me off or not. I'm not really mad about that because I did that was... That's not cool. The next topic is how to know when it's time to leave a relationship. This goes back to me talking about that, that inner voice in your mind, your inner gut, your inner feelings about certain things. This all just goes back to that. When you're in a relationship, I don't even know what I'm going to do next. Okay, When you're in, in a relationship, you always have a good feeling about something. You always have. Woman's tuition never lies. And I know some, like, mo majority of people on my YouTube is probably not really old enough to know what that really just means. And it's okay, because I'm going to explain it. You get, Well, actually, you'll get older. As you get older, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. So, in your relationship, and you feel that you're unhappy, you're not in the relationship no more it's not how it was it's not how it used to be and i also used to believe that um cheating was the only way you should leave a relationship it's not that if you're not happy in the with the person in the relationship that's also not good even though you're like i don't want to just you know up and leave because you know somebody like, he didn't really do anything wrong to me your your needs should always come before other people's needs and I know so that's selfish. It's not because when you are a good person at heart and you do put other people's needs ahead of yours, it really doesn't have a just a positive, really positive. When you do that so often and people can't do it for you and you're down in the blues and other people can't help you out of it, it's really not a positive impact on you. That's the most negative impact you can have on yourself. So it's like, yeah, doing it for others is good you will get you will want you will get you'll be blessed for that that's really good but as far as thinking about someone else before you think about your ha your happiness and what you need to get going on that's not i don't feel like that's something you should prioritize because if you're not happy then everybody else is happy then what what what's the point you know like i'm not saying like that let me rephrase that if you're trying to make someone else happy and they're not making you happy, you, you get what I'm talking about? How can you try to make someone else happy when they're not even making you happy? It don't, it don't, it don't work like that. In order for someone to make you, in order for someone to be happy, someone has to make them happy, you know? And, that, and it's not just that. You can make yourself happy, but if you're not happy, obviously there's something wrong with either within you or the relationship. So, of course, cheating is a way to leave, to leave a relationship. Of course. That's a big, heavy way that I suddenly believe to leave a relationship. Like I said, try it first and see what it does. Not saying that if it doesn't make you happy, go back. Because that's not going to make you even happy. It's going to make it worse. So, you know, try something new. Try to take a break from relationships. You know, you know when it's time to leave when you don't feel happy anymore. People always say love hurts, I hate relationships, relationships are stupid. Love is not supposed to hurt. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Love is supposed to be peaceful. Like, it's supposed to be joy. Yeah, every relationship go through their ups and downs. But at the end of the day, it's not supposed to be continuously being, getting into arguments, continuously getting accused of cheating. Like, that's not, that's what you call a toxic relationship. That's not a relationship you need to stay in. 
that's you know when it's time to leave a relationship. Your inner voice will speak to you, and it will, it will, it will run through your head multiple times before you just really realize it's time to, time to move on. You know, and it's hard. It can be hard sometimes. You know, but it's not impossible. There's multiple situations where people take years to leave a relationship that they're unhappy in, and it just, you know, sometimes it can be a good thing for them. Sometimes it can be a bad. It all depends on the type of person you are and the type of life you have. You know. So I rather, my personal opinion, I rather just stay out of relationships until I can know that I can financially, I'm financially stable. I'm happy with myself. I'm I'm beginning to be happy with myself. You know, I'm 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 getting there. You know, like I lost a lot of energy and and time. I lost a lot of confidence. I lost a lot of self motivation. A lot of that when I was in a relationship. You know, so it's I'm kind of building that back up. You know, and it's, t- it's taking some time, but it's coming. Like, I feel it. It's coming because it's, go- it's going to take some time to rejuvenate myself, get that glow back that I had, you know. So I'm not really tripping. God got me. I know. I pray every night. It, I haven't been stressing. I've been feeling good. You know how to stay positive. Even when I'm crying, I say, you know, I'm going to be okay. I'm hurt right now, but it's going to all fall in place. And it's going to fall in place perfectly intact and I'm gonna be so happy even when I'm crying y'all like I always try to love myself and make sure I stay thinking positive next topic is so the topic is toxic relationships friendships and bettering yourself so that's what I was just talking about toxic relationships you know relationships toxic y'all constantly argue there's constantly cheating going on constantly crying constantly feeling down you're happy with that person for so and so moments like little bits of memories you can remember when y'all were happy you know when y'all were good and then it's like a lot of memories where you can remember all of this bad stuff happened it's like it takes a really you can feel it like it takes a big toll on your life it takes it takes a fun out a lot of stuff you know and it weighs you down it doesn't make you feel good you know you can tell when a relationship is toxic so there we go i know it's hard it's always going to be hard. There's never an easy way out of something, you know? Never. I'm going to tell you that not with surgeries, not with relationships. You know, it's always going to be some th- an obstacle. They got to they gotta come your way and say, hey, girl, you better pass me or you going to be stuck. You no. Know? And it's all the type of person. You got to become stronger. Women as whole guys to become. Men too, because men get hurt too. I won't say that. But, you know, majority of women get hurt as well. And it's like women have to become stronger. They have to learn to love themselves. And it's not all about this and not all about that. You know, yeah, you're happy for the certain moments, but what about the rest of the moments? You know, and I, I can say this all day, but I have to learn this myself, you know? I can, I'm going to tell you that right now about me. I can give some really good advice, but it's really hard for me to take it. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hard for me to sit there and take my own advice, you know? But I've been, I've been trying, I've been trying my best, y'all, and I think I'm doing really good as a person. No, I'm not. I'm be truthful with myself. I'm not doing good at all. Okay, I've been slacking on a lot of stuff. I let a lot of stuff get to me. I let a lot of stuff weigh me down, and I just gotta get back on my track. I gotta get back on it because if I don't, then look who gonna be stuck out. This girl. I'm so. Friendships as well. You know when the French when the friendship is toxic, they got all that fake stuff going on, they're not as truthful with you as you think they are. Like, you know, like toxic friendships are stupid. Like like I there are the toxic friendships shouldn't even exist, but they do because girls wanna be so freaking fake. They wanna act like they're your friend, they wanna act like they they like you so much when in reality they just like I want a friend that's gonna tell me about myself. I don't want a friend that's gonna sit up there and tell me tell somebody else about myself that's dumb right just you know i want to tell a friend that's going to sit there and say hey where are you you being dumb right now like that's just dumb like you know you need to get it together because you acting up right now you know i want a friend that's going to show me the ropes teach me some sh-
and I try to be really positive, you know, to myself and with others. I'm gonna start putting mascara on that because now it's starting to turn colors and stuff. You know, I'm about time for that. Like, I need to really wash it. Get all that gunk off of it. I'm just put some makeup on it because I'm about to be doing it. Lay it down real good because. With friendships you can cut that out just cut it out like don't even think about it toxic is toxic anything that's toxic for you, you won't go and read a bottle of God to be glue and if, if it says toxic for the human body you're not gonna go and drink all of it like drink it you're not gonna go put it in your mouth because it's toxic you're gonna get sick you can die from it you know so basically why would you go to a and with that, it's not the fact that the that you're toxic, you're making the relationship toxic. It's the person in the relationship that's with you. Because nine times out of ten, it could be you that's also making the relationship toxic. Nine times out of ten, if you're in a toxic relationship and you're the one who's getting weighed upon, nine times out of ten, the other person is toxic. And it could be just y'all don't meant to not meant to be, so it makes the whole relationship toxic. It, it, it cannot make manage to be one person. It could be the both of you. You know, and it's weighing on both of you because y'all are not meant to be, and y'all trying to make something work that don't need to be working. You know, and so it it happens like that sometimes. And I know people be like, "But why?" Like, you know, I really love this person. Yeah, love is hard to get rid of. You know, it is. But hey, look, you fell in love with the wrong person at the wrong time, and everybody comes in your life for a reason. You know, and I'm gonna say it's the wrong person at the wrong time because. Everybody comes in your life for a reason, you know? And it's like, either you let them come in your life for that reason and let them leave, or you stay and be unhappy. There's so many people in this world that's with somebody right now to this day, married to them, that they should not be with, and it's not doing them good. When you're with a person, you're supposed to go and expand with them, whether it's a friend, uncle, granny, mama, cousin, boyfriend, girlfriend, anything it is, y'all supposed to expand, go and expand from each other, you know? Come up, like... I don't know if y'all know who Kristen Queen is. I mean, Clarence and Queen. Queen and Clarence, how you say it? That's a de true definition of a good relationship right there because the type of fact that when she got with him, when she was with her other person that was making her life a living H.E. double hockey sticks, you could tell she got famous. Her, her singing came along. She started growing up. She got her little surgery. She's happy now. Like, you know, she's happy with herself. You can tell she's really in love, you know? She came up. She was stuck in a bargain with Chris, you know? She missed out on so many opportunities. And it just, he took a toll on her life. He was a toxic person. And it, it just wasn't good for her at the end of the day. So she, she just finally decided to let that go after so many years. And boom. When she did, she found the person that really is true for her, you know? And sometimes it happens like that. God was preparing her for her her true destiny, where she should be in life. You know, God was preparing her for that. And it worked out perfectly for her, as y'all can see. Y'all should go watch her, her old videos and her new videos. Y'all will understand if y'all don't. If y'all do, then y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's all about the mindset that you have, you know? And some people just can't handle the fact to have a good person. Like, if you're a good person, how you know you're a good girlfriend? Like, if you're not perfect, but you do the best, you're better than most of these young girls out here doing what, who knows what, whoever, you know? You're better than most of them, a lot of them. Because young girls out now are nasty, getting SCDs and not caring, like, you know, getting chlamydia and stuff. Like, you know, you know you're a good girl. And it's just some people can't seem to accept the fact that they got a good person. They don't know how to deal with it. They always want to find some way to accuse you or think you're cheating. Think something fishy is going on. And really, it's nothing. They just 
you don't know how to do with a good person. And it's not it's not always you. It's it's not close to it won't be you. It'll be them. If you're watching this video, it'll be them. Like, you know. It won't be you. It won't just be you. And they try to make you seem like you're the bad person every time when you know you're not doing nothing. They're always cheating. They're always breaking your heart. Your friends, too. They're always doing some snake stuff and want to blame it on you. Want to help point the finger at you. Oh, but you did this. and No, it's about what you did, honey bunches. It's not about what I did and what, what happened in the situation. It's not about none of that. None of that that we talking about. Like, what did you do? If a person not me, woman enough to own up to their actions, then they shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. Like, own up to that. We were hunting with me. You cheated, you cheated. Tell me you what happened. What's the true meaning? Like, for real. People don't got time for that. It's, tw it's gonna be 2020. Going to be an awakening now. People don't have time for that. None of that extra foolish stuff. Like, people getting too old. Everybody coming in today. Actual nature is like, nobody have really time for that. Nobody. Be 100. If you want to go do some snake stuff, own up to it. Be true to yourself. You know? Know what's real and what ain't. If you know you fake, then you fake. Like, that's just the type of person you are. Change, you can change from it all. You don't have to be a fake person for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Own up to the fake shit you do. Real talk. Friends, relationships, all of that. Own up to it. And I take that to heat a lot because I own up to everything I do. Like, if I did something that's fake, I'm own up to it. Like, I don't care. I did it. Shit, I'm human. I don't make mistakes. Don't be scared to own up to it. Because you don't want to be looked at as this girl. You're going to be looked at as that anyway if you want to sit there and be fake about it. And not really tell the truth about what really happened. If you cheated with your man, with your friend, man, like, come on now. Be true about it. Hold up to it. You might get cut off. But hey, look, at least you can be truthful. And now you know. Hey. Or just don't do no fake sneakiness and stuff at all. It's always ways around stuff, y'all. It's no excuse. People just don't know. I don't play none of that extra stuff. Y'all see the difference? Okay, next stop, y'all. I'm getting too depth. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm for real, though. How to get through high school. So, y'all. I am really... Learning myself how to get through high school. Y'all know I'm not even in 12th grade yet. I'm trying to, I'm working on graduating early, but it's look like it's not really working. I was just really funny. So, what I would do, y'all know it's finally quick. So, it's too late for you to be asking me how to get through high school. So, to be honest with you, pay a motherfucking attention. Like, I'm not. I be in the class, I pay attention. No, ain't no involved with a little bit. Looking around, listening to everybody else. Really sit up there and do the work. Go to tutorials. Understand how to do it because it's not hard. Talk to your counselor about getting some classes that can help you understand certain things. Getting them easier classes. Talk to people. Do things. You know, don't just sit around. You know you need help. Ask for it. Really pay attention because I know if this girl who been pelt failing all her life really can get herself together, then I know you can do it. Like, you know, you just got to sit up there and really take school serious, bro, because when they get to that time you finna graduate, that's when everybody's trying to start taking it serious. Now, you take it serious throughout your whole, so your whole year, so you won't, you know, you won't be in that predicament where you got to struggle to try to hurry up and do this and do that. It's a great year. You can really just relax. You know, you still got to do your work. Just kind of relax. See, you can kind of sit back since you got everything done from 9th to 10th grade. Your 9th grade year, you can really pretty much chill. That second semester you better, of 9th grade year, you better get on it, bro, because they're not playing about that. Especially now, they're making school way stricter than what it used to be. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, they ain't playing with kids these days. You better be on your stuff. Like, you have to be. Or else you're not going to sit up there and get credit, you're not going to graduate, you're not going to do none of that that you think you're going to go up in there and do. 
you can sit your butt down and fail. I swear to God, they don't, they don't be playing none of that no more. For real. Pay attention. Don't be absent. Don't be late. Stop trying to be cool and skipping. That's, that's not going to get you nowhere. I'm telling you that right now. When you get into a grade and you realize you're trying to pass and stuff, especially with them little friends and stuff, you think friends is important now. Baby, when you get 10th, 11th grade, like, friends ain't going to freaking matter. You're going to be worried about trying to get out that thing on school. Friends ain't going to freaking matter. Like, you're not going to know them. Half of them friends, you're not even going to know. And a good about, as soon as you graduate, boom, they know no kind of parts in your they don't play no type of parts in your life so that stuff do not matter that's what i really don't so just make sure you just stay on your game don't let nobody knock you off your game i did i messed up with that skipping boy i swear to god who i messed up with that skipping but i'm fixing it i'm trying to get on it don't be like me be better than me Go ahead and do what you got to do right now so you don't have to worry about it later. You know? Because, shoot, school ain't nothing to play with now. The government said, hey, you know they have to pay for each student to go to school. Each student is like $1,000-something. They say, we paying for y'all to go to school, paying for y'all to get this good education. When most countries don't have it, y'all going to have to sit in this classroom. You miss more than eight days of school, you don't get credit for that class no more. You have to make up hours, you have to start school, do tutorials, something, because you won't get credit no matter if you pass in the class or not. You're not playing no more. So you really got to get on it. Especially people that's just not coming into ninth grade, that's going to be just not coming into ninth grade, I'm going to tell you right now, get on it already. As soon as you get in that building, you're going to try to play around, all right? I'll let you bump your head one time, but I'm warning you. Good way to, you know. Relax and you know, feel good about yourself. Pamper yourself, take a couple of videos, take a nice warm shower, soap, do whatever it is to make you happy. You know, but for any of y'all who's going through any of those things, I pray that I can, that I've helped you a little bit more, gave you a better understanding. I know it, me just talking probably not gonna just help it fully, but it can do some good, and that's what I'm, what I'm going for. The more good I can do, the better. So people don't think kids go through stuff. Oh, yes, ma'am, we do. Teenagers, I mean, kids too. Kids go through things too. But more, more likely teenagers, especially when you get 16, 17, all of that, 15. The end of you become, the end of you from 15 to 16 is when it's going to start coming to you. You're going to start realizing more stuff. And that's just it for this video. Make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the link in my description below. Um, give that notification bell a big push. And make sure y'all stay tuned. Because it's always going to get real. But in what? But in still. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned. You heard? Because your girl going to come back. Better never. You heard? Deuces.